With the recent AI developments, as of 21st of April 2022, there are hundreds and thousands of AI tools all around you that you can use today. In the past couple of months, I got my hand on all of these tools, as many of them as I could, and I distilled down the 10 most important, most valuable tools that you can start using today for free and use the power of AI to help you learn faster, be more productive, save more time, get things done like you've never done before. And that is what I'll be talking about in this video. If you watch till the end, you'll be getting a free ebook from HubSpot on generative AI. There is a lot of fear mongering about how AI can replace people. While the right lens to look at this is how can you use the power of AI to become an ultimate version of yourself. I think of myself as an alien in Ben 10 movie, right? So it was like a normal Ben 10 alien and then you become an ultimate alien, right? So that is literally what you can do if you use these AI tools in your workflow, in your day-to-day -day life. Starting with number one, AutoGPT. Now, AutoGPT is making news and waves around the industry for being the biggest breakthrough after GPT-4. But what is AutoGPT? So think of it like this. AutoGPT is an autonomous AI agent that uses GPT-4 to create and execute tasks on itself to accomplish a goal. You simply need to give a single line goal to AutoGPT and to accomplish that goal, it will create multiple sub steps that it will have to take to complete that goal. It is like creating a recipe for dal chawal, right? So you just write, make dal chawal. Now what happens under that is that you need to prepare the dal, you need to make the chawal, you need to prepare all of the you know, ingredients that are required. So there are sub steps required inside of this goal. So AutoGPT automatically finds out these steps and starts executing on these steps and completing the goal. Now it deploys multiple GPT-4s on all of these tasks and executes them one by one. That's the cool part about AutoGPT. And another great part is that you can try it out yourself by going on to its GitHub repository, by cloning it, simply install it in your laptop and start using it like that. Or you can also check out godmode.space, which is a website which allows anyone to use AutoGPT online. You can simply enter a goal and it will create the task on itself. AutoGPT has complete access to the internet. It can search for anything online. It can also execute any code that it wants to. And that makes it both powerful and dangerous at the same time. Now, unless you're living under a rock, you've probably heard and used tools like ChatGPT and Midjourney. You enter a command and boom, the results are there. That is the power of generative AI. But do you know how to use these cutting edge technologies to its best? What are the prompts that will deliver the best results that you need? My friends, the first mover gets the most advantage and that's also true in the space of generative AI. Luckily, you don't need to search the whole internet for this. HubSpot has created an in-depth ebook on generative AI and it has all the answers that you need. As a creator myself, I have found huge value in the ebook section on AI for marketing and content strategy. I even learned how can I implement AI tools for my team at MarketUp. The ebook is completely completely free and full of examples and graphics, ensuring it's not hard on your eyes. So if you're looking to streamline your workflow with AI, check out the link in the description to download HubSpot's free ebook on generative AI. All right, now moving on to the second tool you can use, and this one has recently been launched called as the mini GPT-4. You can finally use images and converse with them. You can essentially use mini GPT-4 to upload an image and then talk to GPT-4 about this image, right? So you can ask what is happening in this image. Create a story around this single image. Create a character arc for this particular person in this image. Create code for this image. There are so many different applications of mini GPT-4. It has recently been launched. You can go to mini gpt4.github.io and you can try it out yourself today and you can see how are people using it, right? You can upload a picture of a leaf. You can ask it which leaf is it and what has happened to this leaf, right? If it is 
you know having some you know infection or a virus you can exactly tell what has happened which makes it great for agricultural use cases it is as simple as uploading the picture online and start talking to the ai about it as well check it out yourself and let me know what do you think about this we are, we are finally entering that era of multi-modality we are not just interacting with ai with the text we are now even introducing pictures in the future maybe we'll have videos and we can ask questions about what's happening in this video so that is essentially how this works mini gpt4 an incredible upgrade over gpt4 that we were using for the past two months third tool that you have to check out is adobe firefly now this one has again been recently developed firefly is an amazing platform that you can go to buy adobe and you can create images you can create videos you can create some amazing looking text with crazy different formatting options as you can see on the screen right now the best part about this is that because adobe has launched this tool adobe has adobe stock through which they have unlimited access to tons of images tons of videos so when you start using adobe firefly you don't need to worry about copyright infringements right you don't need to worry about trademarks and all of that you know legal stuff because adobe owns this content you will be very much able to use it without any issues right that is the best part about it and the way they have included everything now previously you need to actually write the prompt in mid journey or stable diffusion to get a particular result here on adobe firefly it's all a drag and drop if you want your photo to be pixar style you simply click on that option instead of you typing it out right there if you want to have an aspect ratio of 3 is to 2 you can actually choose it in the drop down menu instead of you having to write it down in the language that mid journey will understand in the format that mid journey will understand all of that complexity is hidden away and what you get is a beautiful platform that you can use to create some amazing graphics right on the adobe suite itself you can now apply for the beta version of it and start using it today itself coming up next is 11labs.io an amazing tool to create real life sounding audio of anyone that you want right the best part about it is that it is free for you to use you can create up to 10,000 characters every single month and you can change the voices right if you want there to be your own voice you can also apply for that the audio that is generated from 11 labs is truly sounding like a human voice itself and that i think is the best part about it there is an amazing tool coming out by microsoft called as valley which has even better sounding human like ai voices that you can also check out if you have the time for it but 11 labs a great tool to use it even has an api access that you can use to create a different application to use it in a different platform altogether so go try out 11 labs if you are trying to create ai audio right and if you want human like sounding voices then you have to check out 11 labs the next tool is my personal favorite this one is runway ml so runway is an amazing video editing tool right but it also has a plethora of different ai generative ai options that you can employ in your videos as well as photos right there are so many crazy options that you can choose from and you can do some amazing stuff with your pictures as well as videos now the most exciting part of runway is gen 2 now gen 2 is the recent feature that they've launched in which they are introducing text to video yes you heard me right you can now enter a single line of text and it can then create a short clip or a video that you can use wherever you want and this feature is now available inside of runway itself so you can edit a video you can create stock footage right then and there from text prompts and then you can use it however you would want to use the runway ml app is free for you to start using and i think it's a great way for you to edit videos and quickly use ai into your whole video editing workflow and that's the best part about it all there is also another tool called as descript that you can use which is majorly used for captioning subtitling and you will be able to see the entire subtitles of whatever it is that you're speaking in the video right then and there there is also an option of creating your synthetic voice right so if you have to cut a word 
right if you want to create a new word that you've never said in reality it can say it because it now has data of your own voice when you upload a video to it so these are some amazing crazy tools available to you at both runway as well as descript the sixth tool that you have to check out is for all of my developer friends out there if you are a developer you will love github copilot x now we already know about github copilot that is a thing of the past the latest update from github copilot is github copilot x in which it is using gpt4 for not only suggesting you code it's even going to help you with your pull request right whenever you are sending a request you will need to write whatever it is that you've changed in this file or in this branch instead of you having to write it you can actually use github copilot x for the same there is also a new availability of voice commands so instead of you having to you know write everything down you can use your voice to give commands to copilot x to execute something or the other on your code base itself it can understand your entire code base you can talk to your code bases there are so many different possibilities with github copilot x you really have to try it out yourself to understand what is coming in the world of you know assistive coding technology with the help of generative ai as well the next tool is for all of you who are students quillbot is a free tool that you can start using which will help you paraphrase your text you can reword entire sentences and paragraphs to make it sound more professional short you can expand it you can make it sound more creative more academic and it is just a great tool that i think every student should have on their arsenal and it also allows you to check for your grammar mistakes it also allows you to check for plagiarism in all of your assignments and it's just a great tool overall which is free to get started with so take a look at quillbot as well i've been experimenting with it for the last i think one or two months it's been a great you know help for me whenever i am recording my own videos they even have a chrome extension that you can actually use and you can then rephrase anything on the internet anywhere that you want so if there is an article that you have which you can convert into a tweet you can actually just select parts of the article and click on rephrase or paraphrase on quillbot chrome extension it will do exactly that all right now the next tool that you have to check out is soundraw.io now this tool is for people who love music and music generation now with the help of generative ai you can now create unique sounding music that you have never heard before right the biggest problem with people who are making videos on youtube is with music with the background music right that's why my videos don't have any background music so far because i just don't want to be in that problem in which right now the video is no copyright but later on it has gotten a copyright and because of that i start getting copyright claims and strikes on my videos and my channel as well i do not want to be in that space and that's why you can check out ai generated music by soundraw you will be amazed to see the level of you know music it produces and you can see the depth of music it creates by understanding your taste you can ask it to create this type of a music and it will do exactly that for you the second last tool but before that if you're liking this video it would mean a lot to me if you can hit the like button and subscribe to this channel coming back to the ninth tool this one is going to blow your mind completely so so far we have seen text to image with mid journey and stable diffusion and others we have also seen text to video with the help of runway but have you heard about text to 3d worlds yes with the help of spline and skybox you can actually create 3d worlds and 3d objects so these are two separate tools completely skybox that tool that you can use to create 3d landscapes around you you simply need to enter a text that hey i want a view from the street of dubai in winter season just a simple example and when you do that it will create a complete environment for you it will create a complete landscape for you to look at you can go through it you can navigate exactly how everything is looking and it looks amazing the next tool is spline which is even more interesting now with the help of spline you can create 3d objects with just your text input anything from a piece of grass to a tree to a car to a person and you can then change their colors you can arrange them in specific orders all 
as per your liking so spline is a great tool they have recently come up with spline ai which is even better so you have to check out spline if you are into you know game design or if you just like creating those illustrations or those 3d characters you can use your text to generate entire 3d objects imagine that previously you had to do the rigging you had to design everything and then make everything it used to take hours and hours of your time and it can now be done in just a few seconds that is the power of generative ai but now let's talk about another crazy tool and this one is going to help you to create cgi level movies at your house itself it's an interface that you can use to replace any human in a video with one of their avatars that they have on their programs it can be a robot it can be a king it can be an assassin it can be whatever you can choose the avatar and then you can apply that avatar onto that person when you render that video you can see that person looking like a robot without the need of wearing any special equipment right like i used to watch these Avengers you know four behind the scenes videos in which everything was green and all the actors were wearing expensive equipments to make sure that they can turn them into an avatar into an avenger right no longer do they need to do that we can simply use ai and we can impose a character on someone who is in the video and it works phenomenally well as you can see on the screen right now so these were the 10 tools that i have loved using the most thank you so much for watching this video i want to ask you what is one amazing tool that you have used in your experience let me know in the comment section don't say chat gpt okay say something creative say something different that you've used and has helped you out a lot but that's all from me today you can check out the generative ai ebook from hubspot with the link in description it's completely free of cost share this video with a friend of yours you can tag me on social at ishan sharma 790 and i'll see you all in the next one thank you so much bye bye